Now, teachers not only have to hold their students' attention, they also have to keep up with the times. And in this high-tech world, that means lots of gizmos and gadgets. Bay News 9's Ashley Jeffrey says computer programming classes are starting earlier and earlier for local students. Wait, damage? He does a lot of damage. Speed. At first glance, you'll think the Shorecrest Prep students are just playing a game. Oh! Well, they are, but these games were built by these students. I think it's really cool because nobody tells you what to do, and you can you can make literally whatever app you want. Let's find out. Fourth grader Stella Dufresne is just one of many learning to program computers. Yes, a fourth grader programming computers. Look how cool this is. Watch. Computer programming and coding is a growing field with more than 21,000 job openings in Florida. You can make a lot of stuff with coding and it's what you want to do. And that's why Shorecrest educators say it's necessary to start coding sooner rather than later. Only about 30 percent of the technology jobs in the year 2020 will be able to be filled with the students that are currently coming through our system. So if we don't start getting our kids coding earlier and programming and learning those problem-solving skills, we're not going to be able to meet those job needs in the future. Even kindergartners are so logging into the world of coding. This little robot that and has buttons on its back, so, so we made a track and control it. So it doesn't matter if they're just learning to program a robot or expanding on their skills to build a game. I didn't know I could even dream of doing this. The Shorecrest Prep students are on the right track to code for the future. Petersburg, Ashley Jeffrey, Bay News 9. Now, earlier this week, President Obama unveiled plans to help fund computer science programs at school districts across the country. Miami and Fort Lauderdale will receive some of that money.